Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Most people start their astronomy journey with some basic beginner telescope. When you grow as an astronomer, then you outrun these beginner telescopes and you want a bigger aperture telescope that has excellent performance. This is the same thing Celestan has kept in mind and designed a Celestan Nexstar 8SE telescope. This is one of the most popular and biggest telescopes from the Celestan Next Star SE series. In 1970, the Orange Tube C8 made its debut. Since then, Celestan has been producing C8s in basically the same format. Now the telescope tube has different glass coatings for maximum efficiency and many improvements, but overall the optical tube assembly is similar to that of C8 from the 1970s. The telescope has an 8-inch aperture with a focal length of 20-32 millimeters. It has a focal ratio of 10. Its highest useful magnification is 480 times, and the lowest useful magnification is 29 times. The 8SE telescope collects 77% more light than the Celestron Nexstar 6SE. The big aperture of this telescope will show the faint distance objects in great detail. When you buy the telescope, you'll get an optical tube assembly, single arm mount, and tripod and hand controller. You will also get a finder scope and two eyepieces. Setting up this telescope with the help of the instruction manual is a very easy task, and if you're using it for the first time, it will take you anywhere between 30 to 40 minutes for you to set up this telescope. Attaching this telescope to the mount is the most difficult part, and it is preferred you do this first on a soft surface like a mattress or a carpet. After that, you can fix the attached telescope and fork arm assembly on the tripod. This will save you from an unnecessary accident of dropping the optical tube assembly while attaching it with the fork arm. While collimating, you must point the scope at a star or an artificial object, defocus it, and adjust the three small screws on the secondary mirror until everything is lined up. The mount of the telescope is a single fork alt azimuth mount. This means you don't need to polar align this mount. This mount can support optical tube assembly weights up to 12 pounds. While navigating through the night sky or adjusting the focus, you will experience very minor vibrations. You can get rid of those minor vibrations by using anti-vibration pads. The mount is a computerized go-to mount, so you will spend more time observing and studying the celestial objects than finding them in the night sky. What can you see with this telescope? In our solar system, you can see the Mercury, Venus, and their phases. You can see the moon's craters, valleys, and ridges in great detail. You can see the ice caps on Mars and notice the dust storms. You'll even be able to see Jupiter and its cloud bands and the great red spot and some moons of Jupiter. You'll also be able to see Saturn and many of its moons. In the deep space objects, you'll be able to see many minor galaxies, nebula, and the Messier catalog. You can see our neighboring Andromeda galaxy with this telescope. As this telescope has quite a bigger aperture, you might be wondering, what about the astrophotography with this telescope? This telescope has an alt azimuth mount. We have explained before how different types of mounts work and which mount is best suited for astrophotography. You should watch these two videos to understand this. Though this telescope has an alt azimuth mount, you can still do astrophotography with this telescope. And you can easily capture bright objects such as the moon, planets, bright stars, and bright galaxies in the sky. You can do short exposure astrophotography with this telescope very effectively. Now, if you want to do long exposure astrophotography, then you need the celestial object in your field of view all the time. Though the mount of this telescope has a motor and it can track the object in the sky, it has some limitations. While doing long exposure astrophotography tracking the objects for a long time, you will find some drift in the tracking, which will result in giving you star trails. So to solve this problem, you can use a good quality wedge that will convert your alt azimuth mount into an equatorial mount, and then this telescope is perfect for long exposure astrophotography. 
This telescope is the best for beginners to advance levels of astronomers, and for beginners it's recommended to figure out their level of interest in astronomy and then go for such an expensive telescope. If you take into consideration all the parameters while buying a telescope, this telescope fits perfectly into those parameters with minor drawbacks here and there. So if you're thinking of buying or upgrading to this telescope, just go ahead. You will not regret your purchase. We hope you've liked this video and learned something new about the super awesome beginner-friendly telescope. If you're new to astronomy and want to understand the basics of astronomy, then please check out this video playlist. We'll be adding more videos that will cover more basic concepts for beginners, so do subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to watch these two videos, which are the very basics of stargazing that every astronomer should know.